Hey, what's up guys, it's me, Aaron, and today we're going to compare the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro to the Apple AirPods Pro. Now, in terms of price difference, they are about $50 apart. The Galaxy Buds Pro retails for $200, the Apple AirPods Pro $250. And Apple is quite strict on its pricing, so you're not likely to find this at a huge discounted price anytime soon, at least not from the Apple Store. Still, it's gonna be interesting to see how they compare in terms of things like features, sound quality, phone call quality, noise cancelling performance, and of course, Bluetooth audio lag, whether it is for gaming or for watching videos on your phone. In future, I'm also gonna be comparing the Buds Pro to other popular truly wireless earbuds in the market. So if you don't wanna miss out on future videos from this channel, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. In terms of specs and features, they both each have their own advantages over the other. For example, in terms of battery life, the Galaxy Buds Pro has a total battery life of up to 18 hours with 5 hours of charge in the earbuds themselves. The AirPods Pro has also 5 hours of charge in the earbuds but it's got up to 24 hours of total battery life, 6 hours more than that of the Galaxy Buds Pro. The AirPods Pro also has one other advantage, and that is Apple's proprietary H1 Bluetooth chip. First of all, this is a Class 1 Bluetooth antenna, so it promises better Bluetooth reception over longer distances compared to Class 2 Bluetooth antennas found in most truly wireless earbuds, including the Galaxy Buds Pro. And number two, it also has, according to the tests that I've done in previous videos, lower latency performance when watching videos or playing video games on your smartphone compared to other earbuds. This is something that you're going to be able to see later on during the latency test portion of this video. Now, all of that is thanks to Apple's H1 Bluetooth chip. And with H1, you're also going to get uh, things like seamless integration with iOS devices. So instant pairing with your iPhone, seamless switching between iOS devices, your Apple Watch, iPad, your uh, iPhone, and of course other features as well that are exclusive to the AirPods Pro like spatial audio will also be available to you due to Apple's H1 Bluetooth chip integration. If you want to experience spatial audio for yourself, check out this video over here. Of course, in this video, I've also gone into greater detail about what the special features are all about. And of course, aside from seamless iOS integration and those special features, you can also customize the AirPods Pro's features and sound within iOS itself. But one of the AirPods Pro's major drawbacks is the fact that you cannot do any of those things on an Android device. So if you're using an Android device, it might make better sense to get something like the Galaxy Buds Pro instead because with the Buds Pro, it doesn't really matter what brand of Android phone you use. It could be uh, a Samsung, a Sony, an LG, or a OnePlus phone. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got the Samsung wearable app on your phone and you're signed into your Samsung account, you will be able to enjoy a certain degree of seamless integration, including instant pairing and automatic switching between devices for phone calls and watching videos. And you will be able to customize these earbuds on the Samsung wearable app. That includes sound quality and features customization. Plus, if you're using a Samsung device, you will have access to some Samsung specific features like gaming mode, Activating gaming mode on the Buds Pro will help you to lower Bluetooth audio lag to a very bare minimum when playing video games on your Samsung device. If you want to know how well gaming mode works compared to not activating gaming mode at all, watch this video over here. I also like the fact that with the Samsung wearable app, you can get the Galaxy Buds Pro's touch controls to do volume controls instead, making it much easier to control the volume of your music when you're on the move. Sadly, there is no such option with the AirPods Pro yet. Some other advantages of the Buds Pro include an IPX7 water resistance rating compared to the IPX4 rating of the AirPods Pro. 
This simply means that the Galaxy Buds Pro is more water resistant than the AirPods Pro and can take a little more wet punishment if you choose to bring these earbuds out for working out under various weather conditions. And finally, in terms of fit and stability, I prefer the Galaxy Buds Pro easily because it's got a more traditional earbud design, one that fits very snugly in the conch of my ears. So it's less likely to fall out of my ears or shift so that it loses its noise cancelling seal. And this is something that I couldn't get right with the AirPods Pro. No matter how much I adjusted the AirPods Pro, it always fell out when I bend down to pick something up or shifts in my ears so that it loses its seal and thus its noise cancelling power. So as you can see, in some ways, the AirPods Pro is better. In other ways, the Galaxy Buds Pro is better in terms of specs and the features, but otherwise, they have a lot of similarities. They both support wireless charging, Bluetooth 5.0, uh, in terms of audio codecs, they support SBC and AAC. But how exactly do they compare in terms of sound quality? When comparing these earbuds side by side, A to B, I've discovered some pretty significant differences in the way they sound. Well, for starters, the Galaxy Buds Pro is quite a bit louder than the AirPods Pro. I picked up about a 10% difference in terms of volume. So 50% volume on the AirPods Pro is gonna be equals to about 40% on the Galaxy Buds Pro. Also, when you compare them to the Buds Pro, the AirPods Pro sounds a bit more warm in the upper mid and treble frequency range. And this does two things. Number one, it makes vocals in your music sound a little more laid back and a little more warm on the AirPods Pro compared to how it sounds on the Buds Pro. Vocals on your Buds Pro is going to sound more vibrant, more crispy, like there's more bite in it than on the AirPods Pro for sure. And number two, although the AirPods Pros do sound quite detailed in its soundstage, its details are not as easily heard as on the Buds Pro because the Buds Pro, remember, has brighter travel. So details show up a little more brightly against the background on the Buds Pro compared to the AirPods Pro. But it isn't just mids and highs. In terms of bass performance, I think I prefer the bass performance of the Buds Pro. It simply hits a little deeper and a little lower with a bit more bounce and impact than the AirPods Pro. So overall, if you were to ask me which one will I prefer in terms of sound quality of the bat, I will tell you that I prefer the sound quality of the Buds Pro. But some people may not like the brightness that the Buds Pro presents in its mid and upper frequencies. Maybe it even sounds too sibilant for them when playing higher intensity music like Deep House, Heavy Metal, Synth Wave. If so, then the AirPods Pro might be a better choice because of its warmer sound signature. Okay, now we're going to compare their phone call quality. As usual, I'm going to play some really loud cafe-style background noise to simulate making a phone call in a noisy place, and I'm going to record a voice memo on my phone using these earbuds. Background noise, Galaxy Buds Pro, record. I am not making a phone call in a noisy place using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Background noise, AirPods Pro, record. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Apple AirPods Pro. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. 
The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So, they are both pretty comparable in terms of phone call quality experience, but there are some differences. The Galaxy Buds Pro seem to do a little better in terms of background noise cancellation. Towards the end of the recording, you can sort of hear that it sounds a little quieter in the background compared to the AirPods Pro, but what it did not do quite as well as the AirPods Pro is in terms of reproducing the clarity of my voice. In that area, I think the AirPods Pro did better, my voice sounded a lot more natural and a lot more clear. Like there was a little more definition in my voice when I was using the AirPods Pro, but otherwise they are quite close in terms of phone call quality. Right now, we're going to compare their noise cancelling performance. To do this, I'm going to play the same background noise that I played before and let's see which of these earbuds have better. ANC. So overall, the AirPods Pro's noise cancelling performance is a little better than the Galaxy Buds Pro. And this is because although they were quite comparable in terms of lower frequency noise cancellation, they both are equally as good at cancelling, say, the rumbling of a subway train or the droning of a plane's engine, the AirPods Pro was able to actively cancel mid-range noises a lot better which is why it seems a little quieter than the Galaxy Buds Pro. But this comes at a huge caveat. I've always said whenever I talked about the AirPods Pro's noise cancelling performance that its ANC performance is only as good as the fit that you get when wearing these earbuds. I have not been able to get a good and stable fit with these earbuds. And so however great its ANC performance is in these tests, in real life usage, at least as it applies to me, it often is not as good. Okay, now we're going to compare their Bluetooth audio lag when gaming or watching videos on both Apple and Android devices. As usual, for an Apple device, I'm going to use the iPhone SE 2020 as a benchmark. For Android, I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Please note that for this test, I have not activated gaming mode, which is a feature that automatically brings down the level of Bluetooth audio lag on your Samsung Android device because I want this test and its results to be more representative of Android devices in general. First, the gaming audio lag test. As a reference point, let's see what no lag looks like on the iPhone SE. This is audio straight from the iPhone speaker, so no lag. Now the Galaxy Buds Pro, then the AirPods Pro. And then we repeat the same test on the S20 FE.
So whether you're gaming on an Apple or Android device, the AirPods Pro will deliver lower latency performance than the Galaxy Buds Pro. But of course, this is without the Galaxy Buds Pro's gaming mode activated on my Samsung device. If you like to know how big of a difference gaming mode makes when you game with your Buds Pro on your Samsung device, I've included a link to this video in my description box that will show you exactly that. But when you're watching videos on your phone using apps like YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu, are you likely to get the same kind of Bluetooth audio like as when you're gaming? Well, not really because these apps on your smartphones, they have their own latency correction built into their code. So when you watch a video using the Buds Pro, they will automatically correct for such Bluetooth audio lag by delaying the video so that it synchronizes better with the audio. Like this. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron. Today we're going to look at the Jabra Elite 85T noise cancelling earbuds. Now, they retail for $229, which is like 30 bucks more expensive than the Elite Active 75T and about $10 less than the very popular Sony wf 1000 xm 3 Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron. Today we're going to look at the Jabra Elite 85T noise cancelling earbuds. Now, they retail for $229, which is like 30 bucks more expensive than the Elite Active 75T and about $10 less than the very popular Sony wf 1000 xm 3 So overall, I think that for $200, the Buds Pro is a worthy contender to the AirPods Pro in terms of things like features and specs, sound quality, phone call quality was pretty close, although it was not as good in the vocals department. And in terms of noise cancelling performance, it was also quite close to that of the AirPods Pro, just as effective as the AirPods Pro in blocking out low frequency noises. Furthermore, at least in my experience, it's got better fit and stability than the AirPods Pro. And I cannot overstate how important this is because it is important for everyday use, for working out, and also very important for maintaining that noise isolating seal for effective noise cancellation, which is something that I couldn't get with the AirPods Pro. And it's also got uh, this option to enable volume controls, which is also very convenient for me and not something that the AirPods Pro till now can deliver. But of course, there are certain things which the AirPods Pro do better, like its battery life, its super close integration with iOS devices, and these special features that can only come about when you have the AirPods Pro and you use it with an iOS device. And what I'm about to say may cause many of you who own iOS devices to consider skipping the Galaxy Buds Pro entirely and go for the AirPods Pro instead. Now, the Galaxy Buds Pro is not yet fully supported on iOS yet. The Galaxy Buds app on iOS, the same app that deals with the, the Galaxy Buds Live and the Galaxy Buds Plus, does not yet support the Galaxy Buds Pro. So any kind of customization of its features or its sound quality and even software updates is simply not possible on iOS at this moment. So I, I'm sure that after hearing this, many of you will agree that people who own iOS devices might perhaps consider getting the AirPods Pro instead. But who knows, maybe this is a temporary thing and Samsung might soon add support for the Galaxy Buds Pro in their iOS Galaxy Buds app. And if you've got friends and relatives who own an Android device, you can also work around this issue by borrowing their phone. Then you pair your earbuds with their phone, perform all your uh, settings and software updates there, then switch the earbuds connection back to your iOS device. The settings will carry over quite nicely because the earbuds will remember these settings for you. So this is one way you can get around uh, this obstacle of the Galaxy Buds Pro not being fully supported on iOS. So overall, at $200, I believe that the Galaxy Buds Pro is a worthy competitor to the AirPods Pro in terms of features and in terms of performance. And I believe that many of you who own an Android device or in particular, a Samsung device will automatically default 
to buying the Galaxy Buds Pro instead of the $250 AirPods Pro. But what do you guys think? Based on what you've seen in this video, which one will you pick, the Galaxy Buds Pro or the AirPods Pro? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please show that you like this video by punching that like button and sharing this video with your friends and family. Also, if you want to see more content like this one from this channel, more reviews, comparisons and tutorials, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.